All right, how we doing today? So wow, yeah, we getting late in the month in January here. I tell you, uh, I think it'll be a very extraordinary year. Bizarre, but extraordinary. So we at the end of January already, and I tell you, it's already been to uh, been uh, started at a over uh, overdrive pace already. I hope you guys have, have, are having or have had a good Friday today. Today uh, had a productive day, and thank you for your time listening to this uh, video so let's talk about here about these interest rates okay and no I don't I'm not no financial expert uh, not um, not by any means but you know I am good at I think I'm pretty good at numbers and analytics and so forth I think I am um, but so this is a very very uh, informative video about here uh, interest rates going up here okay and then I started looking at more videos like last night about the way they want to do these interest rates and I just don't think that they're gonna raise them high enough okay now let me tell you about the way that the Fed works okay the feds when they pump out money okay like during, say for instance, during like tax time or when they had the uh, this CARES Act, okay? It was like, what, three or four trillion dollars? The inflation goes up because people are gonna spend more. Usually during like the fall and the winter time, except Christmas, all right, when they draw that money down, when they slow it down, then that's when the inflation, it placates itself, all right? Uh, prices start getting a little bit, you know, less expensive, okay? so. Things have went up, I don't know, between 10 and 20%, all right? When I say things, this is real estate, consumer goods, automobiles, electronics, food, those type of things, between 10 and 20%. Over the last year, okay, with this uh, this CARES Act Part 1 and Part 2, um, and what the Fed would like to try to do is they would like to uh, bring the inflation down by raising, you know, things like taxes, but mainly like uh, interest rates, uh, particularly like on houses and like like on loans and that type, that type that type of stuff. Okay. Now on the surface, it looks good. All right. It looks like wow, you know, you're gonna finally get a relief, but it's really not. All right. So let's just say before this uh, shutdown, let's say home interest, uh, home uh, interest rates, for example, there were what, like five, six percent. Then they went down as, as low as low as two percent over the, uh, since the uh, beginning of the shutdown. OK, well, they want to bring that back up, but it's just not going to be fast enough because. Along with these, uh, with the inflation, I saw some podcasts saying the inflation is going to be the same. Now, the inflation is like in, I guess, in tiers or points, which is right now is a two, and it's going to remain a two all year this year, at least uh, another year. Okay, when you start see in a difference, uh, a difference when. The inflation is about maybe 1.7 or 1.8, like 1.75. Okay. Now the interest rates are going to start going down in the spring. Okay, but they're going to gradually go down. And I think when it's all said and done, that that maybe two and a half, three percent uh interest rate will be about six or seven. Okay. Now it was start here just six months ago from speaking to my real estate agent that the interest rate will placate itself, let's see, as of September this year. But now they're saying that the interest rates, okay, will placate itself around the beginning of the 2024. 
So they're going to bring that up slow, uh, a lot slower than they said than they would bring it up. Now, in the midst of that, insurance, no, I'm sorry, inflation is going to be the same. It actually is going to go up slightly uh, this year. Uh, people are not really spending as much money as they, uh, as they have because, you know, the CARES Act, all that extra stimulus money is gone. The last of the pandemic uh, unemployment will be ending probably within the next few days, okay, in a couple of select states with high uh, unemployment. But nevertheless, stuff is still going up, okay? So what's going to happen is inflation is going up more right now uh, or this year. It's going to go up more than the, uh, than the interest rate is going to go down, okay? So not only that's going to be harder to get uh, consumer goods, but people are going to be ripped off, all right? So while you wait for that cell phone to, uh, to come down, all right, that $100 cell phone, for an example, okay, that's going to be like, when it's said, all said and done, by the end of the year, it's going to be $110. And even if that's the case, you may pay less money for a house or for a car when this is all said and done by 2024, but you're going to pay more taxes, so it really works out the same. So really, they're not fooling nobody. Really, in the end of the day, you get ripped off. You're paying more, and you get less food, okay? Uh, you're paying more for a car. You're paying, what, 30 thousand uh thirty five thousand dollars for a thirty thousand uh, dollar car okay or let's say for a three hundred dollar uh three hundred thousand dollar uh home loan okay would probably get you what seventeen hundred eighteen uh hundred square foot now it's getting you about what thirteen fourteen hundred so that's what's going to happen so in other words 2022 Probably until the spring of 23, you're not really going to see a change in, in price for at least another year, a good year. Expect for prices to go up this year, and the interest rates are just not going to go down fast enough. All right, because they have to find, and when I say they, that's the feds, they have to find a way to get some of this money back as they are trying to, you know, uh, retool this, this banking system here. And the fed system, just so you know, is to keep you broke, okay? They keep you coming back. They pay you barely enough for you to uh, to, keep, uh, to keep you coming back. You need to store, you need to conserve, take care of the things that you have, all right? Because things are gonna go up this year. Let me know your thoughts about the video. Subscribe or feel free to do so. Cash app dollar sign Winston Spidey if, if you wanna donate.